Hi, I'm David with Arizona MMC. Today I'm out at the Scottsdale Civic Center Park, which is a beautiful 21-acre park here in Old Town Scottsdale. They have lagoons and artwork. They also have the Public Library, the Museum of uh, Contemporary Art, Scottsdale Performing Arts Center, a lot of things to uh, see and do out in this uh, area. The topic for today is the Arizona Medical Marijuana Update for the month of November. So some things have changed, most has not, but where we are at this point is six months into the medical marijuana program. They started handing out cards as of April 14th, and here we are in the middle of November. So we have these statistics now, and it shows that 15,000 cards have been given out. So what that means is at the end of the first year, we should be at around 30,000 at the current clip. 86% of those who get a medical marijuana card get them for chronic pain. That is consistent with the state of Colorado as well as California. There's no big surprise there. The age range, very few get them less than 18 years of age. Between 18 and about 30, it comes to 20 some percent, and it's another 20 some percent between 30 to 50, and then 50 to 60 is another, I think, 15 percent or so. so nice age ranges. They're not all 22 years of age, okay? So 15,000 have gotten the cards, 86% for chronic pain, about 12 to 15% each for severe nausea and for uh, muscle spasms. And you can check more than one diagnosis on the uh, sheet, all right? So it's not just one category or another. So in addition to that, there's about 800 caregivers now. Caregivers can grow medical marijuana for the uh, card holders. Um, up to five, and if they're a patient themselves, they can grow for themselves as well. So that would be 72 plants. Patient themselves can grow, himself can grow 12 plants upwards of for him or her own needs. Um, the other interesting uh, statistic is that 82% of people who get a card check the box that they intend to grow, they call it cultivate, uh, for themselves. And that's really the only few ways you can get medical marijuana now is because the dispensary program never came into play yet. You can grow your own, you can get it from another patient, or you can get it from a caregiver. Those are the only three methods. Um, and that's unfortunate. The dispensary program is on hold. There are now six lawsuits pending against the state of Arizona, Department of Health Services, for failure to implement the will of the people as they voted for the program in full, and now only half of it is in place. The card program is doing fine. Patients are able to see doctors such as ours. Ours are at Arizona MMC. Um, it's ArizonaMMC.com. And then you get your certification, and then our office will help you do the whole thing online for the state, and you get your card within three days. But all is not well on the other side of the equation. I discussed this last month, and really nothing has significantly changed since then, except now there are four California U.S. Attorney Generals going after the dispensaries. I mean, there were, at one time were more dispensaries in the Los Angeles County than there were Starbucks. But that's changed, and it's still changing. They're going after the landlords, threatening civil forfeiture of um, their property. They're going after the uh, dispensaries themselves, like with the IRS. Um, and they've just hit a one in Oakland with a $2.5 million tax bill. Um, and that's a dispensary that actually pays its state and federal taxes. So there's been a complete 180 shift in how they're viewing the medical marijuana industry, which is a big shame because in California alone, it's a $1.7 billion industry. That's a lot of tax revenue to state and federal. And they're getting ready to just throw that away. So the federal government came out last month and they rejected a petition from, I think it was an ex-police officer, um, to look at this issue more closely. And what they're trying to say is that there's not enough evidence to take it off the scheduled narcotic, you know, as a controlled one substance. Well, 16 states plus the District of Columbia think otherwise. And that amounts to a third of the people of the country. Don't you think that the federal government should actually listen to some of that and reconsider some of what they're doing? That to me makes more sense. It's not so easy to do research on marijuana with it being a schedule one substance. Right? I mean, Schedule 1 means it has no medicinal value and it's harmful. When you look at marijuana in perspective to heroin and cocaine, very big difference in the abuse potential because marijuana does not have addictive potential physiologically, psychologically, sure. 
anything has addiction potential psychologically. At any rate, that's where we are right now, is that the Obama administration has done a complete 180 on the way it's viewing medical marijuana, especially from the 2009 memo, where they said they wouldn't go after patients, they wouldn't go after dispensaries that were abiding by state law. They're not abiding by that memo. Now they're switching again, and they are leaving the patients alone. So it's fine to get a medical marijuana card, and then you can do within the confines of growing your own, getting it from a caregiver, or getting it from another patient. I'm David with Arizona MMC. There's a lot of information on our website at ArizonaMMC.com. You can check out our blog as well. Just click blog. If you book our patient uh, appointment with our office as a patient, you will um, see a very a compassionate, knowledgeable, licensed doctor. Get your certification. She'll look at your medical records, do an exam, and we'll do everything at the office to get you applied with the state, assuming that all the records are there and you qualify. Phone number toll free is 855-294-3227. Thank you very much. Have a great evening.